The Cheltenham Novices Chase is three mile. Five year old plus. That's the first race of the third week. Up the top we've got Hot Port for Paul Rhodes and Rambling Rhapsody. Robin Deschamps. Aereo Love Cattail. The favourite, early favourite is Eights the Ground. For Joshua Sutherland we've got James Gray, Mare, Days Moon, Harbour Sea Devil, Thunderbird and Triple Play for Thunder Spark. And they are off and racing. A couple of horses in here are first up winners, having their second start. So come to the first, and up and over they go, and it's Rambling Rhapsody, the leader. It's having its first start for John Morgan. So you'd be expecting it to be in the money. Also up there's Hot Port. In behind them, cattail. Very striking colours of cattail. We've got Molly Yetz, horse there, Aereo Love, then a bit of a break there to Sea Devil, Thunderbird, last start winner, Thunderbird, with Jim Murray's horse. And then we have uh, Joshua Sutherland's horse, Eights the Ground. Been in the money its first two starts. Oh, one's dropped the jockey there and it's cattail. So it's bad luck to the trainer. So go over the fifth. Not a lot of pace as you'd expect over the three mile. And um, at the tail there we've got uh, Mare Days in the red with the white sash and red cap. And down on the fence in the yellow is Robin Dez Champs. James Gray in the pink and Moon Harbour for Jim Murray at the tail. Just biding its time. But up the business end we've got Rambling Rhapsody. And that's just rolling along. It's under no pressure at all. Come to this next. And they're all over it safely. In second there's Hot Port for Paul Rhodes. And then we get Aereo Love. Triple Play. I think that is the Thunder Spark horse. To the straight. They take the next. Oh, once crashed there. Grey Clutterbuck's horse is out, Sea Devil. So take the turn out of the straight. You left to go. So take the tenth. Just knocking into it there was Moon Harbour. Probably lost a length or two. Just lost a bit of momentum. Field's quite strung out. Probably about 10 to 13 lengths from first to last. But these two leaders have been doing it easily. So they come to the 12th of the water and over they go. And Hot Port pokes the nose in front. Rambling Rhapsody kicks up again as they take the next. Hot Port jumped it a little slower. They're all over it. They take this climb. Oh, and he's walked through it. Uh, the leader Rambling Rhapsody that's allowed Hot Port to take about a three quarter length lead but he still holds the fence Rambling Rhapsody now this main group is catching the leaders up and over they go and oh and dropping the jockey there was Robin Deschamps but it's Hot Port now the leader 
in its own right from Rambling Rhapsody. Aereo Love and Triple Play just stalking behind them. So to H the ground. Mare's Day, Thunderbird, James Gray and Moon Harbour. So they come to the 16th. And up and over they go. And Rambling Rhapsody is in front again from Hot Port. They're getting their ears scrubbed off here. The only jockey sitting pretty is on eights the ground. At the three furlong, Rambling Rhapsody opens up a three length lead. From Aereo Love, Hot Port sticking on on the fence. Also there, eights the ground, triple play, Mare's Day, Thunderbird, forget James Gray and Moon Harbour. Two furlongs left to run. They come to the second last. Up and over they go, jumping it very fast was Aereo Love. Rambling Rhapsody takes the last, jumping at slow area I love at the furlong. I say this race might be over. And Rambling Rhapsody's in front and it's running strongly as they run on down to the line. And Rambling Rhapsody will win. And it does from eights the ground. Hot port third with uh, triple play there as well. And Go Zappers gets the day off with a win with Rambling Rhapsody. Second is Eights the Ground, Joshua Sutherland. Third, Hotport, Paul Rhodes. Fourth was Triple Play. Fifth was Aereo Love.